You know, ever since I got these AirPods, I just miss being able to use a phone like a phone. Just put it right up to your head and have a phone call because I, you know, as as nice as the wireless is, like, don't get me wrong, it's great that there's no cables here. Like, that's that's cool, I get it. But um, I'm just used to being able to look down and touch the phone and give it, uh, you know, a couple taps and then put it right up to my head. That's what I'm used to, right? Right here. This is where that phone should be going when I'm having a phone call. But now, where do I put the phone? Am I supposed to put the phone like in my, in my pants down here somewhere? I don't have pockets that I can use as a metahuman, not yet anyway. So I, I'm really, I'm really conflicted. Like, am I gonna really keep using the AirPods? Um, I got them connected. The phone says they're connected. They're here. I'm hearing things in my ear right now. I'm not sure. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'll give it a shot. I'll tell you what. I will. I will try the AirPods. But if they don't work, we're going right back to the phone right here. We're gonna just have phone calls the old-fashioned way. So welcome to the Citizen Meta One School of Amazing, Perfect, Beautiful Acting. Uh, I am your teacher, Kenji. And yeah, okay. And so today we're checking out this little quick demo I did with a hand prop here. And the cool thing about this is that it's really, really relying on the physics system for this to work. So first of all, this hand pose is, is fake, but uh, it fits well enough. What's cool about this is that because I have physics on both hands, when I go to tap the phone, you'll see that it actually taps the phone and, it, and the, the hand reacts. So it gives it this kind of like cool physics look where I can, I can go like this and the phone actually looks like it's being tapped. Cause I guess in a certain sense it is. The other thing that I'm able to do with the physics system, I'm gonna rotate a little bit this way. The other cool thing I was playing with for that test is the fact that I can actually use my head collision to rest my hand. Cause otherwise your hand's gonna go right through your head or it's gonna be way too far away, you're having a call out here. Uh, but with the current, uh, even kind of wonky physics solution, I can just go bam, slap it right against my head, and the collision is doing pretty well. Let's see if I can get it even better, right? So it's like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go from the holster to slam, picking up the phone. Pretty good. And same thing when I'm pretending to uh, touch my AirPods. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but from certain angles, the collision actually stops it from going into the head. So I can get pretty close if, with some practice here of being like, oh, what's up with this? Is it, are we connected to these things on? I, I can't tell. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tap the sides, tap them like this. And yeah, so the collisions come in really handy. One from basically uh, hand props where you wanna have some physical interaction like that to just touching your head and doing a phone call like this. Uh, so that's all this demo was for. There's gonna be a lot of, pretty sus acting on this channel. I'm, I'm not trying to be uh, an amazing VTuber performer, but you know, I don't really have anyone to test this stuff, so it's gonna be me. This is the Kenji stock metahuman from Quixel Bridge, in case we wanted to check that out. So he probably won't have his own special episode. We've tested him here. He looks great. This hair doesn't look so good out of focus when it's this blown out, but that's okay. However, when I downloaded this character, I was like, for some reason I was like, well, I wanna do a phone scene. And well, it seems like he's like an AirPods phone kind of guy. So just a quick test of the prop system. Uh, this is not a perfect pose. This is just literally stuck on an open hand, but luckily for a phone, it's kind of close enough. Uh, and it's actually on a socket on the skeleton that's all hooked up to the physics system so that we can do this and uh, that. And it does have some collision issues, but for some quick, you know, quick draw phone calls and uh, trying to check my AirPod connection, it all works pretty well. Okay, I'll check you on the next video.